Hello, and thank you for joining me today to learn about RBC Express's administration services. In this video, we'll be talking about the RBC Express tokens. RBC Express is a multi-user online banking platform that uses RSA Secure ID tokens as an additional security measure. The device will be sent to you in the mail. And you'll notice that on the screen of the device is a six-digit passcode that changes once a minute. That six-digit passcode is what you'll be entering when you use the token. You'll also notice on the back of the device is a nine-digit serial number and an expiration date. Tokens typically last four years. In terms of when you will use this token, there are a few scenarios. The first one you're likely to encounter is on the sign-in page of RBC Express. When you were originally enrolled for RBC Express, you would have had a conversation with your RBC representative about whether or not you were interested in two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is what we call using a token to sign into RBC Express. If you agreed to that security setting, then all users on your profile will be using a token every time they sign in. But if that is not enabled, you'll be able to sign in without a token. The other major scenario in which you'd use a token is for approving payments. Certain payment services on Express require a token in order to complete payments. The other situation where you will use a token is if you're resetting your password. Typically, if you forget your password, you need to answer three security questions that you created when you first enrolled for RBC Express. If you have a token assigned to your name, you can enter in the token value instead of answering the questions. And the last scenario is if you ever need to convert a user on your platform to an administrator, a token is required. Now we're going to take a look at how to assign a token. To assign a token, begin on the home page. Go up to the blue banner at the top of your screen and select the tab called Administration. On the left-hand side, you'll see a blue link that says Manage Users and Permissions. On this page, you'll see a list of all of the users and administrators who currently have access to your profile. And on the right-hand side, beside each individual's name, is a gray token indicator. To assign a token to a specific person, click on their token indicator. You'll be presented with a drop-down menu, and on that drop-down is the serial number of each token that's available to your organization. Select the serial number that you want to assign to the individual and click Assign. And again, just to review those steps, you click on the gray token indicator, select the serial number from the drop-down, and click on Assign. Those tokens can always be unassigned from the individual and reassigned to a new person. And if you need additional tokens, you can also order them from the administration menu. Now that our tokens are assigned, two-factor authentication can be enabled on our profile. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use the token for signing in. On the sign-in page, it asks you to enter your sign-in ID, which is your email address, the password that you created, and your token. And again, the token is going to be the six-digit code, whatever six digits are currently displayed on the screen of the token. Keep in mind that that number changes once a minute, and you'll notice on the left-hand side of your token screen is a timer that counts down until the number changes. Now that we're able to sign into RBC Express, let's take a look at the other main use of the token, approving payments. The following payment services require a token for approval. File transfer is a service that allows you to upload files from your third-party accounting software. The ACH Record Manager is a service that allows you to create payment files on the platform. And Wire Payments, 
Those are international payments. They could be within Canada or the US or overseas. The last service where you may use a token is bill payments. We've made the use of a token with the bill payment service optional. So to approve a payment, starting from the home page, begin by going up to the blue banner at the top of your screen and click on the Payments, Transfers, and Deposits tab at the top. The next thing we need to do is identify which payment service you need to approve for. In this example, we're going to approve for wire payments. Next, you should click the link that says More. The More link brings you to a summary screen for the wire payment service. Each of the payment services have a similar summary screen. Any payments that are pending approval are a hyperlink on this screen that you can click on to view more information and complete the approval. The other reason the summary page is relevant is that in some cases, certain payments can become stale dated, which means that they have not been approved and released on time for their due date. So it's good to check in on this page periodically to make sure that there isn't a payment that's been left behind. To complete my approval, I'm gonna click on the hyperlink that says pending approval. Now I can see the details of the payment, the amount and who created it and where it's going. I'm gonna use the checkbox on the left and click the blue approve button at the bottom. This next page is summarizing the details of my payment, and then at the very bottom, asks me to enter in my password, the same one I used to sign into Express, and my token, which again is just the six digits on the screen. No spaces or dashes are needed. If you're interested in learning more about the approval process for payments and how to create that, you can watch one of our other videos called payment approval rules, and that will show you how to indicate how many approvers are needed and how many people need to have tokens. If you have any questions about the features shown in this video, you can always contact the Client Support Center. Our phone number is at the bottom of your screen at all times.